Hey everyone, so the topic of this video will be on security and will act as a demonstration for why you should encrypt your wireless connection when sitting in a public location. I will be demonstrating two Android based applications in this video by the name of Wi-Fi Kill as well as Droid Sheep and how someone can use these applications to extract information about you um, in addition to how they can interfere with your ability to browse the internet and even how they can gain full access over accounts that fail to use a secure connection between yourself, the client, and the application's web server. Mostly though, I will be demonstrating the dangers of using a public wireless hotspot and will display why you need to use a VPN connection or something of that sort which encrypts all the data that you send over Wi-Fi in order to protect yourself when sitting at a location such as Starbucks or something of that sort. Please note that this video is for educational purposes only. It may be a criminal offense to use this application or any of the applications shown in this video in your country and can even land you jail time. I would definitely not recommend trying anything shown in this video on someone else, let alone possessing these, the applications shown in the video. Uh, without much to do, I will now demonstrate the applications. So. The first application that I want to demonstrate is named Wi-Fi Kill. It does exactly what its name suggests. The application functions by tricking clients connected to a wireless network into thinking that your mobile device is the wireless gateway. In turn, the packets sent by the wireless clients will go through your mobile device rather than directly through, uh, through your router. Upon activation of Wi-Fi Kill, your mobile device can drop all the intercepted packets that are sent and so they never actually reach your router. In turn, the client that is a victim of the attack is unable to access the internet at all. To further elaborate, imagine that your router has an IP address of 192.168.1.1. Upon activation of Wi-Fi kill, your mobile device will also act to have that IP address, fooling devices on your network into thinking that your Android device is the router. In turn, packets will be sent to your phone or your tablet where they can be analyzed and dropped so that they never actually reach the router and thus the signal to um, the communication between the, uh, the client and the router is terminated essentially and they're unable to access the internet. Additionally, more harmful stuff that can be done is actually tracking the packets that are sent to the router. Uh, as you can see on the screen probably by now, um, I can actually visualize the requests that the client sends to the router and what websites he or she is visiting. This can be a privacy breach and you know can be used to track you. In the video, you may notice that certain web pages appear to load normally despite Wi-Fi kill being enabled. This is probably due to the fact that the pages are cached by my browser due to the frequency at which I visit them. Pages that have not been cached, however, will not render at all. Upon termination of Wi-Fi kill, notice that pages such as dig.com, which didn't previously load, work without any issues. Also note on my tablet screen how packets are being analyzed to reveal my browsing activity, a security concern for sure. For the next part of the video, I will demonstrate an application named DroidSheep. DroidSheep reveals vulnerabilities present in sending insecure data over a wireless connection. To demonstrate Droid Sheep, I disable the secure browsing feature of Facebook. Unchecking this option will allow Facebook to transfer data via an unsecured HTTP connection instead of the secured HTTPS connection. As you can see on my tablet screen, the application was almost immediately able to pick up my Facebook session. From this point on, the attacker is able to access the session and completely control my Facebook profile using just the information contained within my Facebook session ID. Droid Sheep works similarly to a popular Firefox extension known as FireSheep. In simple terms, it relies on the fact that your session ID and other information stored within cookies is transmitted using an unsecured connection between your computer and the website's servers. Using Facebook with secure browsing disabled as an example, while your password at the time of login is transmitted using a secured protocol, HTTPS, um, the rest of the time you're browsing the website, information is passed between your computer and Facebook servers without encryption. 
In turn, miscellaneous programs such as FireSheep or DroidSheep can simply intercept the data transferred from your browser, such as a session's information, and then use the data to hijack your session, having full control over your account, as demonstrated in the video. So, I'm just going to refresh my Facebook account on my laptop, and you should see the update that I posted using DroidSheet on my profile. And there it is, it says, hello from DroidSheet. So, how exactly can you protect yourself from such attacks? First and foremost, for Facebook, enable the secure browsing option under the account settings panel. It should be located under the securities tab. For sites other than Facebook, you can use extensions such as the one available on the Chrome Store named HTTPS Everywhere, which will force websites to transmit data using a secured connection. Additionally, you can also connect to a virtual private network or a VPN. I have covered how to set up and use a virtual private connection in my past videos. VPN encrypts traffic exchanged between your computer and the website's servers. As explained at RiseUp.net, with a virtual private network, your traffic is encrypted on your computer. Then it passes through your ISP and onto the VPN server, where it is decrypted and then forwarded onto its final destination. In turn, session hijacking is very difficult, if not impossible, while connected on a VPN connection. Uh. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I hope the content was useful and enjoyable. Uh, please feel free to leave comments, feedback, and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much.